How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace. Today I am joined by Liz. Liz Adele. Hello. And she brought <laughs> some songs for us to react to. Uh, the first one we're reacting to is Polyphia, Playing God. So I've never heard of them before. What do you know about them? All I know is that they sound good. Okay. <laughs> you know what? That's good enough for me. No. I did a little research right before we started recording. So they started in 2010 in Plano, Texas. I have to mention Plano, Texas because I'm 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 from close to that area. So that was pretty cool. And it looks like we have Tim Henson on guitar, Scott LePage on guitar, Clay Gober on bass and Clay I'm going to butcher this last name and I do apologize. Ashleman I, I do apologize, but I, I hope I got it right, uh, on drums. So from what I can tell, at least the current iteration of this band, there are no vocals. So this is a straight instrumental song, which I have not had a chance to check out yet. That's Apparently, it's a really different. hard song to do on the guitar. Okay. I've seen other videos of people that have learned it. There's also another video. I wonder if we could add it like and listen to a snippet of it but there was a woman that did i don't know what the instrument is called but it's that really long instrument that i cannot think of what it's called but she did this song on that and it is wild yes that that does sound awesome i i'm excited to see how a really hard to play guitar song goes I, I haven't listened to a lot of progressive rock, it's like reacted to a lot of progressive rock, so I, I think it's about time we check some of that out. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool, it's free, it tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check the description of the video as well, there's a lot of cool things in there. All our socials are in there, you can go over there and say hi. Yeah. Hello. If you're interested in doing a priority request, there's a buy me a copy link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Polyphia, playing guy, here we go. Okay, first off, wow. Just, just yeah. wow. I know, it's uh, wild, isn't it? It's so good. Yeah, so it's, it, I, I can see the trap element of this. I, I, I can see that, cause it's got, like, it, it's kinda, it's got that dubstep-esque feel to it, but it's not dubstep, you know, it just kinda has that, that very adjacent vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it, I don't know what to say here. It just <laughs> this is this is incredible. It looks like they're in a government building or something, right? Okay, so I think I got that. The guitars, like the, the both of these, I don't know what kind of guitars they are. They don't have. They're not hollow, so they're not inherently acoustic. But they don't have an electric look to them either. And there's no chords coming off, like, or unless they just edit them out, I don't know. But I, I don't know if that's an acoustic electric or I don't know what's going on with these. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a guitar like this before. I don't and, know. And I think he, he also is, he makes his own guitars too. Oh, okay. Because my roommate actually has one. And oh, he wow. was like, 
he as soon because it was like going out for like pre-order or whatever and he jumped on it as fast as he could yeah and yeah it's really cool looking i'm i'm in shock so so tim henson is the dude in the middle right Mm -hmm. okay and then we have Scott LePage is the other guy who has an eight string guitar is what I was trying to look at. And I think it's an eight string guitar. Yeah, I think so. Which I don't know that I've seen. I've seen six, I've seen 12 and I've seen 18, but I don't think I've ever seen an eight string guitar. So I've seen Tim Henson play an 18 or a 12. It had like a lot on it and he was going, doing some crazy stuff. And I was just like. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> How? <laughs> How do you do this? I, I, he's clearly got a, a very unique, both of them clearly have very unique techniques. They have techniques that like a bass guitarist use is what I'm, is kind of what I'm picking up because they're like slapping the strings like a, like a bass player would do. But just yeah. very, very fast. So the other, the other thing that I noticed, the drums, the drummer, like, well, yeah, like the drum set is like small. It's there's only like a couple little things that he can hit. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, these these drums are they're they're different. They they do look different. Like I I feel like there's more cymbals here than I'm used to seeing, and like I, I you kind of get a better view when it's like behind him and you get to see a bunch of the cymbals and stuff. But it's kind of like it it has that sound of an electric drum set. But uh, it's it's not at least I don't think it is. But while he's hitting it and everything, it doesn't. It definitely does not sound like normal drums. Right. Yeah. So it's like it's almost like they're kind of semi muted. I guess is what I was thinking of. At the same time, they could have just muted it during the video. I don't know. I I'm honestly uh, blown away by this. I I need to see more. And I, yeah. I I'm I'm ready to get back to this. So. Okay. I say we get back to it. So here we go. I, I'm blown away here. I, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. So mm-hmm. we we did get drums. Like, like we could actually hear the drums on, on, on this part now. That second part, like, it it kind of mellowed out, the, the song itself. It, it seemed like it mellowed out a bit. They were, they were chilling, relaxing, acting all cool, shooting some b-ball outside of the school. <laughs> and, <laughs> like... So yeah, they, they they were just sitting down, just relaxing. Like Tim was just like laying down playing, and and right. and Scott like he looked like he was like I don't know like an aristocrat, like just like with the you know the the fancy wigs and everything. Like he he just gave off that kind of vibe in that room. Like it's crazy. I I am absolutely blown away by this. Okay, so let's check this out. So here we go with this.
the talent people have is just un unreal. I am just I, I can't anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just I, I, I don't I don't I don't know what I'm doing never. with my life. <laughs> Literally never. Yep. <laughs> I I'm I'm blown away, just absolutely. Like I don't I don't know what that instrument's called. If anybody knows what it is, how to pronounce it, things like that, please let us know. Mm -hmm. I pff, that is like it it gives off harp and steel guitar vibes like put together. I I will say she was in a very fancy building, just like Polyphia was too. Yeah. At, at first, you know, may, like I was thinking, oh, okay, she's got like longer fingernails so you, so you can play it, but they weren't on every single finger. I don't know if you noticed that. No, they're like, they're not finger, like they're yeah. not nails. They like, it's, it's, like, it's some kind of like pick that you can wear, basically. Yeah, it's so cool looking. And at first, I couldn't tell if she had band aids wrapped around her fingers too, or if that was the wrap for the. The, the pick I, that, I, that don't I don't know. know I couldn't tell that either I did see a band-aid but it might mm. just like she might just I don't know so yeah Polyphia Moyun I, I hope I'm, I'm I'm saying that name right I really I, I really hope I didn't butcher that name but both Polyphia and Moyun both playing these songs is just out of this world I've never seen something like it before yeah but yeah I mean if y'all have any suggestions or anything we should know about either of these artists, please let us know. Drop it in the comments. We'd love to check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All our socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the release schedule always drop a couple of days early, so if you want a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to check that out. If you're interested in doing a priority request, is buy me a coffee link. Links to the videos we reacted to are both in the description as well. And I think that's about it for these reactions. There we go. Check out the next one. Bye, guys.